those old ads? It does the body good. Back in the day, if you wanted a nice cold glass of milk, your only option was to get it from a cow. But these days, with millions suffering from lactose intolerance, milk can come from a lot of different sources. Almonds, soy, oats, to name a few. And now, even a camel. Hello, hello. Come on! At Smith's Camel Dairy Farm in the Netherlands, they have 108 camels and plans to expand. What's this camel's name? Uh, her name is Evita. Camel milk is currently just 3% of the global dairy market, but sales are growing fast. How much milk does a camel produce every day? Uh, they produce about six liters a day. So it's like a gallon and a half, roughly. Yeah, that's less yeah. than I thought. Camels are actually quite difficult to milk. They don't like surprises. Get them off the routine and their already meager output will drop. Moment of truth. Ah. Tastes like milk, a little bit grassy. While camel's milk may be new to us, nomads have relied on it for centuries. Now the West is waking up to white gold. Kim Kardashian endorses it on Instagram. And at London's trendy Garage 108, yeah, I've got the camel milk here. Yeah. Chef Chris Denny is serving up camel's milk ice cream. Ooh, wonderful, thank you. Nutritionists say camel's milk is a good source of protein and fat, with more vitamin C and iron than cow's milk and less lactose. But is camel milk a superfood? People are seeking out specific foods which may have miracle cures that come with them. But I think what's really important to remember is that no one singular food is going to cure a health condition. As our planet warms, food diversity is becoming more important. Camels provide milk in extreme heat and drought conditions where cows can't. Something to chew on, even if you aren't ready to raise a glass. For today, Sarah Harmon, NBC News, Berlicum, the Netherlands. I'm so nervous. So we are going to have Chanel and Dylan give a glass <laughs> no. of camel's milk a try right now. You can't now. make the pregnant lady like, try it and you not try I feel it. Well, like I hear it's pasteurized, so it's safe. Pasteurized. Okay. I mean, it smells like milk. Um, tastes like it's, it's a little thicker. If you, if you gave it to me as a glass of milk... I would just wonder, what brand is that? <laughs> Can I say something? I want some Nesquik. It's, if you had chocolate in it. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Or it's, not, it's not bad. It kind of tastes it's like milk. Not bad. I think it's more. more of a mental thing for it's me right better, now. I like this better than others. <laughs> Honestly, to be totally honest, <laughs> I like if, I didn't know, if I didn't know there's something else, I'd probably, I'd be good with it. It's not bad. It's a mental thing. We say not bad. Go for it.